Hi everybody, Kat here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. Well, as of this morning, the Daily Mail reported the uh, joyous news that Meghan and Harry had a christening for Lily. She's been christened Princess Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor over the weekend. And that's why we saw Tyler Perry, her godfather, fly into Montecito to be present. Now, in the Daily Mail article, they're quoting Omid Scobie, who put out the announcement that uh, Lily was christened by the Archbishop of Los Angeles, which is wrong because the Archbishop of Los Angeles is actually a Catholic bishop. Lily was christened, if it would be, by the Bishop of Los Angeles. But Archbishop sounds better, and, you know, most people would gloss over, not even notice, and that's the way Megan gets away with doing most of the things that she does. But I find it very interesting they christened her Princess, now, and according to the article, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the Pellis saying this or Omid Scobie saying this, it's not quite clear, but that um, the Pellis, the Pellis will um, be updating the website to reflect the changes in the children's status. Not only will Lily now be known as a princess, but, of course, Archie will have the prince title and that these titles are only supposed to be used in formal occasions. If this is true, you know Megan will be calling him prince and princess everywhere, all over the place, all the time. Um, I don't know if it's true. It hasn't been confirmed. Of course, this is out of the mouth of Scobie, so... Who knows, who, who really knows if it's true or not. But yet, you know, joyous occasion. They had to put something out there for sure to offset all the bad press they've been getting. I mean, since the publication of Spare and all the backlash Harry's gotten from that. Then we had the South Park episode, which just excoriated Megan and Harry for their bad, ridiculous behavior. It was spot on. And a lot of people that wouldn't have known anything about Meghan and Harry would have watched that show. And uh, now they know everything we've been saying for the last few years. So that certainly hasn't been good press, good press for them. And of course, here just a couple of days ago, Chris Rock's debut stand-up special on Netflix where he took the stuffing out of Megan Megan's racist claims. So she's gotten a lot of hits lately. She can't be too happy about that. She's got to be pretty upset. And we've got a coronation coming. Now, of course, they're still holding up the whole we want an apology or we're not going to come card. That's a way of them to, I guess, exert their power or hold some kind of threat over the palace. But talk about threats. Apparently, the palace has done a threat assessment and deemed Meghan and Harry to be dangerous. So why they'd even invite them, why they'd let them come in the first place is beyond me. But should they entertain showing up, it's going to be very stressful for them. Notwithstanding that, you know, they thought everybody was standoffish to them at the Queen's funeral. Well, after the book and after all of this, press and everything said and done. Everybody at the coronation, the rest of the royal family and everyone, they are going to be so intent 
to avoid Meghan and Harry. They're not going to want to have anything to do with them. They think they were snubbed before. They've seen nothing yet, and that's notwithstanding even what the public might do or say should they show up. But Megan's got even bigger troubles for her narcissistic mind to drive her crazy. Think about it. Coronation, everybody that's going to be there is going to be tiaras and crowns and coronets and gowns and everybody in there dripping with diamonds and finery. Megan has, I mean, one shitty little pair of pearl earrings the queen gave her. She doesn't have a tiara. The only big diamonds she have uh, has are those uh, like $75,000 blood diamond Saudi earrings she got as a gift, and she's not supposed to wear them. So she couldn't, well, you know, I wouldn't put her past her wearing them to that, but I mean, if the, the backlash of that would be outrageous. Um, so she doesn't have a tiara. She doesn't have any good jewels. What is she going to do if they want to go to the coronation, let alone where are they going to stay? Um... But she's got to go begging to Charles or Camilla and say, I want a tiara, I want some earrings, I want to, you know, you owe it to me to dress me up. Would they do that for her? Would they lend her a tiara? Would she have the nerve to ask for one? Would she show up without one? With her, it's all about optics, and I thought about this. Everybody, every other woman in the place is going to be wearing a tiara except for Megan, unless she has to go begging for one from Charles. Perhaps he'd offer her one. We haven't heard any of this. And those kinds of details are all part of the planning of something like this. And that, and I suppose, is one of the reasons why the palace wants to know ahead of time if they're coming or not. So, you know, should they want to extend the opportunity for Megan to borrow some jewels for the event. You know, I mean, all of this would have to be sorted out ahead of time. So I'm sure that's something that's driving her a little crazy right now, especially if they don't. Can you imagine? What if they say no? So that's something to watch. Um, should they not go? Or if they do arrive, what kind of jewels she's wearing? we got to try to see if we can find out, you know, what that might be part of the deal. He will, well, we'll come, but I want this tiara. You know, I want those earrings. I wouldn't put it past her. So, and it's, we're less than 60 days away. So there's a lot of things to watch for, a lot of things to look out for. Um, Megan is going to, if, you know, she's got to be pushing it to the wall right now. She's going for broke. I mean, her plans, all this bad press and her plans to sort of snare Gordon Getty have gone to hell. The family has a ring fence of protection around him now. She can't get anywhere near him anymore. They, they found out what was going on and absolutely shut her down so whatever was her motive for developing a relationship with him that's gone out the window so she's got to be scrambling a little bit she's got to be upset she's got to be tense there's all these questions about do they go to the coronation or not and if they go and what conditions and how she's going to be presented. Does she get, you know, some jewels to wear? The whole thing. I mean, this has got to be driving her squirrely. So, a few things to watch for. We've got to watch for the um, royal website to see if, in fact, they do update it to reflect the changes in, changes in status 
of uh, Archie and Lilibet, as the article in the Daily Mail suggests that they will be doing. Um, we can look to see if any members of the royal family congratulate her on her, on her um, christening or make a mention of it. And we just got to wait and see if there's any kind of confirmation if Meghan and Harry do confirm ahead of time that they're going to the coronation. Lots to watch out for. Like to know what you're thinking about all of this. Leave me a comment. Let's continue the conversation. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.